Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I will show you how to add a new column to a data frame in R. So in the video I'm going to show you several examples and all of these examples are based on the data that we can create with lines 1 and 2 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you will see that a new data frame object appears at the top right of RStudio and we can also have a look at this data object by clicking on the data object and then you can see that our data consists of five rows and two columns x1 and x2. Now if we want to add a new column to this data frame then we also need to create a vector that we can add as new column to the data frame and this is what we are doing in line 3 of the code. So if you run this line of code you will see that at the top right a new vector object is appearing and we can also have a look at this vector object by running line 4 of the code and here you can see that our vector simply contains of the numeric values 3, 2, 3, 2, 3. Now if we want to append this vector to our data frame, then we can apply the code as you can see in example 1. So first in this example we are replicating our original data so that in the end we have two different data frames, our original data frame and a new data frame with the new column. So if you run line 7 of the code you will see that a new data object appears at the top right which is called data1 and this data object at this point consists of exactly the same values as our original data frame. Now if we want to add the vector vec to our data frame then we can apply the code that you can see in line 8 and in this line we are specifying that we want to add a new column with the name new col to our data frame and this column should consist of the values of vec. So if you run this line of code and if you have a look afterwards at our data then you can see that our new data frame is consisting of exactly the same values as the original data x1 and x2 plus the values of our vector stored in the column new col. So this is basically how to add a new column to a data frame in R with the dollar operator. However, I want to show you two different alternatives on how to add columns to a data frame because depending on your specific situation you might prefer one of the other alternatives. So in example 2 I want to show you a different alternative and um, first in example 2 we are also going to replicate our data as you can see in line 11 of the code and then in line 12 of the code we are specifying here within the square brackets that we want to add our vector values to a new column which is again called new col. So if you run this line of code exactly the same data frame output is created as we already created in example 1 but this time we created this output with a different code. Now in the last example I want to show you another alternative and this time this alternative is based on the cbind function. So again we are replicating our original data first and then in line 16 we are applying the cbind function and within the cbind function we are specifying that we want to column bind our data frame which is called data and then we want to add a new column to this data frame which is called new col and which is equal to the values of our original vector. So again if you run this line of code and if you have a look at the data object data3, the same output is created, but this time based on the cbind function. Yeah, so this is basically what I wanted to show you in this video. So in this video you have learned three different ways on how to add a new column to a data frame in the R programming language. However, if you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the different R programming codes of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you could check it out there. 
And I will also put all the R programming code that I have used in this video into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked this video, I would be very happy if you leave me a comment or if you give me a thumbs up on the video. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.